Hi, Virgo. All right, so you have stand your ground here. Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence building action. Take building action. Hold on. <clears throat> Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it. And you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. Okay. So you have karmic relationship, resentments and triggers, perception, intensity and letting go, turmoil and fleeting. So someone is in a karmic relationship. Yeah, someone is standing their ground. Someone is standing their ground or they need to stand their ground when it comes to this relationship. And they're going to do so with this clarity and this truth that's coming out. You have sword and rose. Yeah, this is a relationship, a karmic relationship that needs to be released. I feel like it's going to be released regardless or someone is going to have to let go regardless because the truth is coming out, okay? Yeah, something is going to be revealed about this person or you yeah heartbroken and mask so yeah there's something about this karmic relationship that you're going to find out. Someone could have been unaware that they were in a karmic relationship or in a karmic connection. But you're going to, someone is going to find something out about this connection. And of course, it's going to hurt. It's going to leave this person heartbroken. But it's going to bring you back to your stability, your security, being stable. Okay, this person was wearing a mask all along. Okay. Yeah, so karmic relationship, you have clock. So someone needs time to heal from this relationship. They could be thinking about dating, okay, or flirting. You have paradise and blowing kisses, okay. Yeah, someone is healing from a karmic relationship or they need to take time out to heal. See, someone is going to um, start dating again. You could have stopped dating for a while to heal from this relationship or that's what you're doing now. Yeah, someone had to let go of this karmic relationship in order to get the right person. The reason why they were confused is because there was enough passion or something was very passionate, the connection, okay? But there was a lot of backstabbing going on.
They could have made you feel like you weren't enough. And then all of a sudden they made you feel like they were interested in you. So a lot of back and forth, wishy-washy, hot and cold energy. Yeah, and now you're making healthy choices. These healthy choices are leading to abundance, okay? Or it will once you learn to let go. Okay. You could be looking at pictures, like old pictures of you and this person. But I feel like... You miss them. Okay. That's fine. But you've all, you also realize that you can't go back to this person. You do have a soulmate out there, okay? And you're going to meet this person very soon. But first, you have to let go of this karmic relationship, okay? I see you talking to this person on the phone, maybe texting, back and forth, late night, okay? Yeah, someone is old school, old school love. They're traditional or you're traditional, Virgo. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could have Capricorn placements. But yeah, so what I'm getting is someone needs to let go of a karmic relationship. They may not know. They may not be aware that they're in a karmic relationship, but they're going to find out. I feel like a karmic relationship is very obvious. It's not really hard to understand. It's not really hard. Um, how do you feel about this person or how do you feel around this person? How does this person make you feel? Okay. Does your soul agree with this person? Do you know deep down? Do you feel like something do you feel like something is not right deep down? And are you ignoring it? Don't ignore it because if you ignore it, when it comes back around, it's going to be worse. Whatever your intuition is telling you. Allow your, allow your intuition to guide you, not necessarily in love, but, you know, in all areas of your life. But I feel like someone's intuition is definitely guiding them right now, or their intuition is screaming at them. Their intuition is trying to tell them something, but they're ignoring it. Okay. Maybe you feel like you're going crazy. You're not. Remember the last time, Virgo, the last time that you've ignored your intuition? When you've ignored your intuition, you had to pay for that, right? So think of the situation like that. <clears throat> Just remember the last time that you ignored your intuition. Something about roses, red roses. Someone is going to receive red roses on their birthday. Or this is going to be delivered to you. I'm picking up red roses and a card or a cake, balloons, okay, gift cards.
Okay, you have my higher self is with you every single day. My higher self is with you every single day. Okay. Your beautiful soul is what I crave most. It says you are my total world. What is my higher self is with you every single day. I lack courage to come back to you. Yeah, I feel like someone is they're back and forth. A lot of Knight of Wands kind of energy. Could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with or a Pisces or another Virgo. Maybe even a Taurus or a Cancer. A Leo. But this is like a Leo in reverse. It says, I lack courage to come back to you. So someone wants to come back to you, but they're overthinking or they're actually afraid. It's like one minute they're confident about it and the next minute they're not. Yeah, no one will ever no one will ever compare to you. You're different, Virgo. And they know that. Your beautiful soul is what I crave the most. I want to come into alignment with you. Yeah, so basically, someone wants to come back in your life, um, but they're afraid to, okay? This is someone new. This could be the karmic, but I don't think this is the karmic. Yeah, someone is holding on. So this karmic relationship, this karmic connection, when they need to let go of it, okay? Yeah, they need to let go of this connection. They know that this person is not good for them, but they refuse to let go. They refuse to learn a lesson. And if they continue to hold on, it's going to be very painful for them. You have judication. And despair. What is judication? A child. Do you have a child with this person? This karmic? I see this person lying in court or planning on taking you to court. And they're lying about you. Saying that you're an unfit parent. Yeah, false person. Yeah, they're lying about this. You could have a child or you could have children with this karmic. And they're lying, saying that you're unfit. You have thief. Okay. I feel like someone is trying to take someone's child from them 
This is like the other parent, but it's not going to happen. And they're doing this to be spiteful. Right, yeah page of swords ten of pentacles someone is watching you they're keeping up with you this could be a family member yeah someone's family member is lying on them when it comes to their child and then you have the seven of wands wow this is wrong this is so wrong like someone is claiming that you're an unfit parent or you're not a good mother, you're not a good father. That's not true. They want money or something. But I feel like you're protected. Or they're doing this because you have your guard up. Okay, what is the page of swords? Yeah, the strength card. They see that you're strong. They're watching you and they see that you're strong. You could have Leo placements or you could be dealing with the Leo. What is the Ten of Pentacles? The nine of pentacles. I'm hearing the Wu-Tang Clan. Old dirty bastard. That's what I'm hearing. So something about the Wu-Tang Clan. Method Man. Okay. Maybe you grew up listening to that or... You're going to hear something about them. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is what they're seeing, uh, Virgo. This is what they notice about you as they're watching you, as they're monitoring you. They see that you're strong, you're independent. This is a family member that's watching you. They know that you're an excellent parent, an excellent mother, an excellent father. They're tired. They're so, so tired. They look exhausted in this Page of Swords card. They look very exhausted because they can't stop watching you. They can't stop um, keeping up with you. I feel like you are creating gener generational wealth. You're doing this by yourself. No handouts. What is the seven of wands? Yeah, you're protected. Especially what you do for work is protected. Your work is protected. It's almost like someone is trying to break your confidence. They're trying to stop you from moving forward. And I feel like it's all because you have your guard up. Because things in your life are aligning. Yeah, temperance and king of pentacles. Why is this person watching Virgo? The Knight of Cups. Because they want to come in with an offer. 
or they want to apologize. So they're going to apologize to you because they've underestimated you. All of this that they're bringing towards you, this, this chaos, this conflict, maybe even towards your child, they want to apologize. Yeah, so this is past energy. The Eight of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they're thinking about giving you this Ace of Pentacles. Okay. All right, you have open to abundance, believe you deserve, accept plenty and prosperity. So you have to be open to this. You have to believe that you deserve better and you will attract better. Okay. Enter the magic, live in the now, seize the moment. Okay. And it says, open your heart, love yourself, dare to be vulnerable. Okay, Virgo, so that's all for this message. <laughs>